Hi friends, today we are going to see demo on Snowflake table stream, uh, the different type of uh, stream we have in Snowflake. If you have not seen my recent blog on Snowflake stream, I would suggest you to please have a look. I had captured a complete detail there. You can also find the blog link in my video description below. So uh, before we start with the demo, let's understand briefly what stream. Uh, stream is uh, an object ca that captured DML operation on a table including the metadata about it change. Uh, this process is also known as change data capture. Let's see uh, the demo for more understanding. So uh, I'm going to uh, use sysadmin uh, for this demo and I'm going to create a database called stream types demo basically uh, to showcase all the labs. Um, I'm going to showcase you the differentiation or the uh, differentiation between the different uh, how it behave actually the different type of uh, stream. Uh, the scope of this demo is only to showcase the uh, different type of stream for the table. Uh, I'm not going to showcase anything on the external table for this lab at least. So I'm going to use the same uh, kind of uh, concept which I use for the stream. So I'm going to create the uh, same structure of the table known as product. Oh, uh, sorry. First, I have to create the database. Then I have to create the product table. On the product table, I'm going to create two, two uh, stream, basically the standard stream and the append only stream. And there is another stream which is known as insert only stream. That stream is only applicable for the external table, which is not the scope of this demo. But for your understanding, uh, standard stream is basically to capture all the DML operation, whether it's insert, update, or delete on the source table. Uh, append only stream is useful when you only want to track the insert statement uh, on the particular source table and not uh, the delete and update. Uh, and also in some scenario uh, like ELT where you are only interested on the inserted record, uh, this stream is very useful because it's it's also has less uh, performance uh, penalty or uh, rather than on the uh, standard uh, stream because that 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 has to uh, keep track of update and delete as well. So let's create the uh, standard stream on the product table and I'm also going to create append only stream on the product table with the keyword append only equal to true. So as you can see that I have successfully created both the stream. Now I'm going to insert the record on the product table. So you can see that five record has been successfully inserted. Uh, now I'm going to query the standard stream. We'll see five records in the stream table with the metadata action as insert and meta is update is false because all are just an insert statement. Now I'm going to see the select on the append only stream. Let's see what we see here also as the behavior says like the append only stream only tracks the insert statement. So we can see that it has already successfully tracked all the insert statement. Right. So till now we don't see any difference on the standard stream or append only stream because we have only done the insert operation uh, and there is no difference between the standard and append only stream for the insert operation. Now let's see uh, what is the difference. So we are going to now uh, delete one row from the product table where ID is equal to one. So now I'm going to delete this. And now I'm going to select the standard stream and see what is the reflection. So here you can see, now you will not see one row from the stream because as we have, uh, I have already told on the previous demo that uh, if you have not consumed the uh, stream uh, that means you have not uh, consumed the stream and the uh, stream is still on the uh, initial phase and if you modify the transaction like if you inserted five records and if you deleted one records then it will actually reflect the delta record of only four rather than showing five insert and then one delete it will just reduce one uh, one row from the stream to see the impact as a delta impact. So as we can see that we have deleted one row from the source table, the similar impact was seen on the standard stream, it deleted one row from the stream. And, and as we have not consumed anything, so we, we can see the standard stream as four rows. But you will not see this impact on the append only stream because it only uh, track the insert statement. So you can see 
uh, we are still seeing the five rows on the up and only stream the reason behind this table don't track any kind of delete statement hence uh, we don't see any uh, reflection on the up and only stream now let's uh, create a product type stream to track more detail on the what kind of a stream we are storing uh, so this table will have the uh, like the same replica columns uh, like the source table the only difference is like now we are going to tag this each row with the stream type so what kind of stream we are going is uh, create means like the row which we are going to insert in this table what kind of stream was the uh, action point for that row so let's create the product stream type so yeah we have created so you can see there is a stream type now what i'm going to do i'm going to consume the uh, stream standard stream and append only stream both with a tag attached to each row so whatever i am going to consume from standard stream i am going to uh, tag them as a standard stream with the tag stream type and if i am consuming that from the append only stream i am going to tag that as a append only stream so let's execute this both row and consume all the rows from the stream both the stream so now that i have executed you can see that it has been uh, executed successfully now if i execute the product stream type i can see five rows from append only stream because the delete statement didn't reflected on the append only stream and four rows on the uh, standard stream because delete statement has been reflected on the insert statement uh, on the standard stream so now that we have consumed so if i go and query both the stream you will not see any record on those so here you can see that there is no record right so stream is now empty now let's start uh, do some update and delete statement so now i'm going to update the price and i'm setting the price to 90 where id is equal to 2 so i'm going to uh, give a discount uh, on the product of 100 and reducing that by 10 and i'm going to update that for only product number 2 so you can see i have updated and the number of rows updated is 1 and i'm going to delete the product where id equal to 2 because that id is out of stock say example so I delete it because it's out of stock. I don't want to uh, list them on the product table. So now if I go and do a standard stream, the query on standard stream, we will see that there is a, a delete uh, track and there is also a delete and update for the product uh, ID 2. So you can see because we consume everything, now we can only see three records. One delete for the uh, ID equal to 2. You can see the ID equal to 2 and there you can see that the uh, statement delete and uh, update so you can see that for the update there is two rows so let me quickly see for the yeah for the row id 2 you can see two two state two rows because we updated so the old record of uh, id 2 inserted with 100 value uh, as a delete and the is update is true and the for the updated record with 90 there is an another uh, insert action as an insert and the row is with is update equal to true with the updated value of 90 and for the row which we have deleted uh, as a product where id equal to 3 you can see that for id 3 uh, there is a row with uh, 100 price with delete tag so now you understand that on the stream it was tracked successfully let's go and see on the up and only stream so up and only stream is blank because we already consumed that the all the previous insert statement and since uh, append only stream only uh, track the uh, insert statement so all the delete and up update is not been tracked and hence there is no record inserted on the stream so now that you know and understand very uh, uh, easily that what is the difference between standard stream and the append only stream so in brief uh, i just want to summarize everything standard standard stream is going to track all the dml operation whether it's insert update or delete append only is going to track only the insert statement uh, on the table and not the update and delete and there is a third stream which is known as in, uh, insert only stream and that is only going to track the insert statement that is also similar to append only stream but the only difference is insert only stream only work on external table and append only stream works on table uh, 
and insert only works on external table and standard stream works on only table but it tracks all the dml operation so hopefully you understand and uh, now you can easily differentiate and uh, uh, use the stream based on your requirements so uh, now that we have already used all the uh, labs let's destroy this so that i don't it doesn't cost me more so let's destroy this so now i've successfully destroyed everything so hopefully you like this demo and if you like the demo please subscribe to my channel thank you